Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. Serving Nerve, where we talk about whatever we want, and today we're gonna be going through more Fat Acceptance Cringe compilations. So, uh, yeah, let's just get into it. Just a PSA. Someone simply living is not promoting anything. They're not promoting obesity, they're not promoting homosexuality. I am though. I would like to promote both. I love gay people and I think fat people are hot. Okay, well that completely killed it right there. So if you're gonna be promoting it on your TikTok, and, you know, you're going to have a TikTok promoting. I don't even know why I'm making a commentary on this. They're literally admitting to it. But yeah, just because you're fat doesn't mean you're promoting obesity. Uh, you going on to TikTok and making a fat acceptance body positivity account, that is you promoting and or glorifying obesity. I'm just saying, my dudes. When people tell me I'm mid-size, but there is already a word on the fat scale to describe my body, small fat. It's all the same crap. Small fat, mid-size, upside down triangles. You're all crazy. Okay, I'm just calling it out. All these people are literally insane. Why on earth are you actually trying to adhere to these systems of insanity? Just say you're fat or you're not. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Why on earth are we going on and on and on about this? Like you actually have to be either a wackadoodle or an idiot to actually follow these rules. It's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Mid-size, small fat, big fat, large fat, crazy, psycho, all the same thing. You're all like wild in my book. I cannot understand this. Just say you're obese or not. It just doesn't make sense. Here's how I operate on the levels of categorization. Severely underweight, uh, underweight, normal weight, obese, morbidly obese, super morbidly obese. If you can't fit in any of those, you're a liar because you do. And you know, I get it. It appeals to BMI and stuff, but it's way more effective than this. What are we doing? It's all subjective, weird craziness. And this is all born by the way, out of people just not wanting to adhere to BMI, but just use it as a categorization. Like what are you guys doing? You're all like mixing in different terms and they're all the same term. You're just making like semantics out of nothing. You hear that? You'd be more cute if you're skinny, lol, just saying. Beauty's subjective. Some people want to bang you when you're cute. Some people want to bang you when you're 600 pounds. I just promote that people be healthy. All I hear is fat phobic bullshit. Sure, do whatever you want. Like, I just don't get it. It's all so subjective and saying it's fat phobic is dumb. It's just somebody's opinion. They think you would look cuter if you were skinnier. That's just somebody's opinion. I don't even understand why you'd want to respond to a comment like that if it bothers you so much. Like you can be better than the comments people make of you. So I just don't get it. Raw onion is the perfect chip. Fat shaming is good because it encourages people to lose weight. I don't think shaming people actually is good to help people lose weight. Uh, shaming people in general, I think, is just mean. But when I hear fat shaming, it's so subjectively used and interchangeably used with everything that it doesn't even have any meaning anymore. So there's no point in this. But saying that, calling somebody fat or like saying like, oh, you're fat, you're ugly, uh, you should lose weight, you'd be prettier if you lost weight, like you're ugly. I think that's actually incredibly rude and I hope that people don't listen to those comments, but I don't think it's effective to use those comments. Saying that, it is good to point out facts and logic and say, hey, you're morbidly obese, you could die early, you are at risk of these potential diseases and circumstances, and you also could have joint issues even occurring now. So you probably wanna make some strides in a better direction to lose weight, just so that you can live a healthier, happier life long term. That's what I feel like people should say, and I think that's what a lot of people do say, but if you have like hate comments online, just don't listen to them, it's that easy. Yep, to dip in marinara sauce. No, I think you're- I don't think that's right, no. No, I think you're wrong. It actually contributes to further weight gain. I mean, it depends. Technically, if somebody's an emotional eater and they eat when they're sad and those comments make them sad, then hypothetically, it will actually create more of a likelihood that they'll gain weight because, you know, you're leading to their emotional turmoil. Saying that though, you do need to get off the internet if you're being negatively affected by people's commentary and it's causing you to have some kind of inappropriate behavior that you are perpetuating upon yourself because your emotional instability, your poor reactions to people's commentary and judgments, and your self-abusive behavioral patterns are your problem. I've said this before, and it's really nobody else's responsibility but your own to take care of yourself as an adult. Uh, you do need to learn how to cope with what people say and not use that as fuel for your fire just so that you can get burned. I think you need to be a lot more kind to yourself in spite of people's rude commentary towards you for your own well-being. That's just my opinion. I don't, I don't, I think you're wrong. Jesus Christ, what am I looking at here? Okay. 
me running away from the body positive movement after size 12 girls show me their roles and tell me we are battling the same battles. I mean, body positivity, you can experience like a lack of body positivity or whatever, or you can be discriminated against on the basis of your body, uh, no matter what size you are. Like, why are you adding more barriers in there and saying that size 12 girls, like, can't experience the same levels of subjective experience that you can? It's really bad. Like, I feel like the gatekeeping here is really what's keeping this movement from, like, even doing any bit okay. Like, even when girls are being body positive in this movement, if they're not fat enough, they're just gonna get kicked out or treated like crap by other people who are fatter in the movement. It's really weird. And people who are size 12 and like, you know, touching their roles and saying like, I'm body positive. I don't believe in like touching and like, you know, clawing at yourself on camera and showing off your body. But I just think that if you've got somebody who's being body positive, you should only say like, yes, you know, you go, yas, queen, like vibes. Like, why are we beating down on other people even though they're on your side? It's like super toxic. Questions I've gotten about pregnancy as a plus size person. The number one thing that I've heard is with the potential complications that can come to both you and the baby during pregnancy and the being considered higher risk pregnancies. And also I'm pretty sure you can be at a higher risk for gestational diabetes when you are overweight and having a kid than if you are a normal weight. Although gestational diabetes can occur literally if you are just a normal body weight and you're pregnant. I'm not trying to say it's a good thing, but it can happen. And then it's supposed to go away once you have the baby. But personally, I think that maybe it has something to do with women doing really dumb things when they're pregnant, like eating very unhealthily and not exercising because they're pregnant. I don't know. I wanna hear what this person has to say. I'm so sorry I was going off there. I just have been hearing a lot of pregnancy stuff because my sister's also pregnant right now. You know you could die, right? Yeah. So could you, yes, but your risks of complication as a morbidly obese person are incredibly high when you are pregnant in comparison to a normally weighted person, both for C-sections and for, uh, you know, natural childbirth. It can be another risk for complication and it's worthy of being considered when you are pregnant. Obviously, if you're morbidly obese and you're pregnant, uh, you know, it's not like you can just magically like go back in time and like, you know, not be pregnant, but I'm just saying there is a risk of complication there. Aren't you afraid your fat is squishing your baby? Well, that's just stupid. Stupid. No, my body got pregnant and has now carried two babies, fat both times. So yeah, the, the the weird fat squishing baby thing I don't think makes sense. I mean, you know, maybe maybe your internal organs could be more saturated, but I'm pretty sure your body's gonna really try and like protect that baby in there. It's more of the risks that are like nutritional, uh, health complications, bleeding issues, things like that that I think are the bigger concern. Uh, recovery issues as well, uh, and other kinds of complications. But uh, the other, the question there was kind of weird. I don't know, man, that's, that's wild. But uh, outside of that, congratulations on having the little ones. Personally, I would love to be a mom. That would be a total vibe. I would teach my kids to be the biggest assholes in history. And, <laughs> but outside of that also, um, I do think that you should endeavor to lose weight and be healthy. But also when you are pregnant, I think you should endeavor to eat healthily and exercise. I think a lot of women are really dumb with how they treat their bodies during pregnancy. And uh, yeah, that's just my opinion about it. Oh, she's back. We've seen her before and she's back in the house. How are you doing, my lady? Um, man, she's like me with the blue light here. Let's let's match her vibe. There we go. We're both blue Daba D now. How are you doing, my lady? All right, there are worse things to be than fat. Let's stop acting like the worst thing someone can be is fat. They could be racist, yeah. They could be mean, yeah. Or they could be the type of person who throws litter on the street, all right. Or they could hate dogs. Yeah, I would hate that person. I would hate that person a lot. You know what the problem is though? These are the people who act like it's the worst thing ever to be fat and they're super oppressed and everything's hard for them because they're fat and you know, they're being oppressed by the system and blah, blah, blah. So these are the people, the people in the fat acceptance body positivity community that act like the worst thing ever is to be fat. I'm just saying, I'm not here to act like the worst thing ever to be is fat. I've dealt with way worse than being fat. I and many other people would prefer to be fat and be able to actually change that for ourselves than deal with half of the shit that we've dealt with in our lives. But these are the people that actually act like it's the worst thing ever to be fat. It's so ironic. 
when I realize I have only one month left to live before I die of fat person disorder. I don't even think I should comment on this one. I think it's obvious how stupid this is. Like, I think it's obvious. Like, I don't know if this person's in denial of the potential complications and risks they could have as a morbidly obese or an obese individual. But even so, this entire commentary is just stupid. Hi friends, this is what I eat in a day as a fat person not trying to lose weight, vacation edition. I started my morning with two bagels and then went to the beach and came back and had two hot dogs, two tamales and a cheeseburger and some butter cookies. Then I rehydrated with some water, got some watermelon margaritas. I'm not gonna lie. You're on vacation. Even though I endeavor to be healthy and stuff, I feel like on vacations and things like that, you know, I don't have my typical diet. I'm out and about, you know, I'm doing my thing. If I'm gonna be eating like garbage or drinking alcohol or treating my body like crap, it is gonna be what it's gonna be. But I feel like you have to take care of yourself outside of that. And I don't know if this person actually does that. So I'm just calling it out. Saying that, vacation edition, I don't know. I think that if you're gonna be unhealthy for one day of your life and treat your body like crap or whatever and eat a bunch of junk food, it is what it is. But I feel like all these people complain and say like, oh, people are judging me because I'm fat and eating food on camera and it's my life and I need to live it. But if you literally proclaim in the video, what I eat in a day as a fat person on vacation, blah, blah, blah. What I eat in a day as a fat person, you're literally, you're asking for it. You're literally asking for it. You're begging to be judged. Then I went back to the beach and came back for taco night with two beef tacos and chips and queso. It ended my night with some gummy bears. I have to ask this. I know I always ask about things. I have to ask you guys, what is your favorite tortilla chip? Right now I'm on Siete chips. I really love the vegan nacho style Siete chips, but a blue corn tortilla chip slaps the booty cheeks. All right, I'll throw those in my mouth anytime. I love making guacamole. Uh, guacamole. Guacamole and salsa, total vibe. So motherfucking good. But anyways, yeah, what's your favorite kind of chip? I am a fan of a blue corn tortilla chip, but I also really do like the yellow corn tortilla chips. I feel like the white corn tortilla chips kind of suck. Uh, they're merely a vessel for nothingness, but uh, yeah. Or do you guys prefer flavored chips? Because I'm also quite a fan of a flavored chippy chaw, if you get what I'm saying. I think what I'm realizing is I wish I could go back and talk to myself about when I was feeling super insecure all the time because everyone told me how ugly I was. Because it's not its not that I was ugly, it's that other people are trying to look like Ariana Grande and Britney Spears. And those people are very hot, good for them. But I'm trying to look like if like Rosie O'Donnell and Elton John had a kid that was very sexy and funny. And those are just different looks, that's all. I don't know, man. Just do your thing. Don't listen to the judgments of other people. Everybody says crappy stuff about each other all the time. Just don't listen to it. Let the comments roll off your back and do your thing. That's my opinion. I love how anytime a fat person does a video about how weight loss journeys are fat phobic, the comments are full of thin people being like, um, actually, how is it fat phobic? I have to point this out. A ton of the people who make comments on these videos are former obese and or former fat people uh, saying that no, it's not healthy. And also, yeah, saying a weight loss journey is fat phobic is ridiculous and it's super cringy to say. And it's just you not wanting to make a change for yourself. So you're complaining about the fat phobia that goes on in all these other weight loss journeys. It's like totally cringe. It's totally cringe. Like these people are actually like really not being particularly intelligent if they say that just going on a weight loss journey in a general sense is fat phobic. It's absolutely atrocious. That I don't wanna be a fat, disgusting, unhealthy, obese pig anymore. That's not- Yeah, uh, they can say whatever they want. If they have that perception of themselves, it's not inherently an offense to you. If you take it as a personal attack, deal with it. Like this is the problem. Like why do you have to have such a thin skin when it comes to people's perceptions of diet, exercise, weight loss, and of their own personal selves? Like personally, I've looked at myself when I've been like way overweight or way underweight. And I've been like, man, I really feel like I could have done better with myself. I was not treating my body right. And I also, I felt like a disgusting pig here. I think I was an indecent individual here. I think I was uh, a heathen to myself here. Like it doesn't mean that I make negative judgments upon other people just because they have the same physical form as me. I just know my behavior in the past perpetuated me to have that perception of myself because I know I wasn't treating myself correctly. So I think that everybody has the right to think about themselves however they want to think about themselves. And the fact that this person and takes it as a personal attack is just silly. Anyways, my people, that is the video. Tell me what you think in the comments below. What do you guys think about all this? But uh, yeah, that was it, and I hope you all enjoyed. I will see you all next time, and it has been lovely. Slater.